Good morning, warriors. Thank you, Lord. Hey, good morning. Oh, I got to look at that. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How y'all doing this morning? <laughs> hey, Latoria. Hey, Reva. Hey, everybody. Good morning. Peaches, Papa, Parks. I just had to say that. Good morning from the A. <laughs> y'all know today is our fast, right? Juice and water, liquids, until sunset. That's the corporate fast for today. We're believing God for one million strong. Good morning. Oh, yeah, remember, tell me where you're from. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm looking at myself, share my own video. How cool is that? Uh-huh. Praise God. I'm just going to do it. Okie doke. All righty. Hi, Cammie. Good morning. Love you. I love you guys. Hello from Dallas. I got a lot of Dallas support. That is totally amazing. Um, the time is 5.56. I'm not going to take long. Somebody pull up Monica's picture for me, too, so I can show it. Um, oh, here, you can do it on this on this phone. <laughs> um, good morning, good morning, good morning. Remember, green hearts for Avery, blue hearts for Jeremiah. Believe in God to return Monica safely home. Just staying in faith with, with her family, Miss Regina Sykes and her family for Monica, y'all. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. But, and of course, the hashtag one million strong. Thank you, Kawana. Did I get that right, Kawana? You might have to sound it out for me. But, uh, yeah. So remember to share the video, please. Let's evangelize this message, God. I believe the Lord has a word for us this morning. Um, and I won't hold you long. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. What's today? January the 4th? Yes, today's January 4th. Um, a lot of questions came in about the vision board uh, and about the fast. So over the next few days, we're going to spend a little time talking a little bit about both. Yes, somebody, Miss Shirley, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> 6 8, 6 p.m. water and juice, yeah. So praise God. Uh, my prayers are for you, um, Yvette, and your sister. So praise God. Prayer warriors, pray for Yvette. Her sister had a stroke on yesterday. Um, we have two minutes left before we start. Let me have that. I'll show it a couple of times. But remember, y'all, this is Monica. My light might be a little too bright. Yeah, it's a little bright this morning. I can't really see it good. I must have it angled different. Let me see if I can adjust it. Brittany, is it your phone? Oh, it's my phone. I can't even blame it on Brittany this morning. No, it's still doing it. Doesn't it look funny on y'all? Y'all can see it? Yeah. Okay, I don't know why it's so bright this morning. It's okay. Brittany, that's Brittany over here messing up stuff, y'all. I'm just playing. She ain't do nothing this morning. Yeah, this morning. That's right. But anyway, we're going to show it again. Okay, it's 558. So what y'all been up to? No, nah, that's my new, y'all like my new light? $10 at Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, it's only $10? Yes. <laughs> and it, it said, it never blows out. I was like, hallelujah. Because I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be honest. I kept having this fear that as I was praying, my lamp was going to blow out. I was like, oh, that would be just terrible. But then I was like, God, you're light. You'll illuminate me even in the darkness. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. Bless you, Elise. I love you. Hey, Nikita. I love y'all. Y'all are so totally fantastic. Hey, man, I was thinking. I just had this random thought this morning about the vision boards and i know people have been kind of like posting the vision boards but hey why don't you do your vision board take a picture of it mail it to me so we can pray over it and then i'm gonna post it in my prayer closet now beat that that's a good deal so y'all try that um uh oh i didn't put my thing on uh i mean you messaging me somebody's texting me oh y'all y'all forgive me because i did not put this phone on do not disturb y'all pray for me because i forgot y'all pray nobody interrupts Please, Lord, because somebody already texted. Uh-oh. Anyway, no time to start over now. Okay. It, it's 6 o'clock. And tell that don't text me again. Whoever okay. just texted me. Okay. All right. It's 6 o'clock. Let's get ready. I did rest well. I did because, you know, I can't eat. So, I'm, like, in the bed knocked out at, like, 8 o'clock. Y'all can tell I look revived, don't I? <laughs> okay. Bless you, Joy. Okay. We're praying for your grandbaby. Praise God. All right. Good morning, everybody. I see I'm in a bubbly mood, but um, praise God for that. Remember, green hearts for Avery. I see y'all got it. Blue hearts for Jeremiah. We're believing God for Monica to come home. Maybe y'all need to pull up on one of y'all phones since I don't know why that didn't. 
I don't I guess it's my new fancy lights. I can't really show her like I want to. Okay, that might be a little bit better. I'm going to tell you what, though, y'all. I'm going to go print this picture out. So, we'll have this picture for tomorrow. I'll let y'all let me forget. So, prayers for Monica. Um, to come home. Remember, Avery, the seizure stopped last night on Avery. Praise God. That's our sweet Avery May right there. And we believe in God that as they take those medicines down today, um, her sedation down, I just we're just going to believe God for a miracle. So, let's link our faith together for Avery and just believe that God is going to totally restore her life. Also, for Jeremiah, his parents are taking him to the specialist next week. So, we thank God for a safe return and for some answers and for some results and for some miracles for the Wiggins family next week. So thank God for that. And remember, it's your birthday today. Happy, happy birthday. And also, this is our corporate fast on Wednesday when we do juice and water. Y'all start posting it for people that's coming on. Juice and water from sun up to sunset. So that's pretty much 6A to 6P. Juice and water. Yes, juice and water. That does not include chocolate chip cookies and mashed potatoes and gravy. So, or what? Or potato chips. So, yeah. And we're doing that because we believe in God. You know, just to really get in alignment with his will. But we also believe in God for one million strong on this page plus. So, I know God is going to do exceedingly Monday morning. We can ask or think. So, praise God for that. So, briefly, you guys, this morning, um, I want to take you to Genesis 37, 1 through 5. And then I'm going to read verse 18. So, that's Genesis 37, 1 through 5. We're going to talk about Joseph just a little bit today. We may stay around this story. This is one of my, also one of my favorite stories. I just love all the stories in the Old Testament. Oh my God. And um, it's so totally amazing. That it's so relevant even today. That's what's so awesome about it. But Genesis 37, 1 through 5 and then 18. Y'all write that in for me. Keep, keep everybody up to speed. All of my new family members, welcome my new family. If you're new, say I'm new. I'm, I'm new to the family. But you're new to the family, but you are officially a prayer warrior. Congratulations. We love you and we welcome you in but um briefly i'm gonna go genesis 37 1 through 5 and 18 and i was in prayer yesterday evening we had another prayer meeting last night and it, so many questions came in about the vision board that i felt like um we need to talk more about it i couldn't figure out exactly how to do that so we're kind of going to talk about it for the rest of the week or for however long god says but as i was praying last night i was like lord Give me a name for this. Like, what do you want me to call this little mini series that we're going to do about having a vision? And I promise you, as clear as day, the Lord said, dream chaser. I was like, that's me all day. I am a dream chaser. What about you? Do you chase your dreams or do you give up because things don't turn around as quick as you would like for them to? But God gave it to me so clearly last night. And then I was like, okay, dream chaser. Now, who in the Bible was a dream chaser? Boom, Joseph. Hallelujah. God gave it to me. Let's go. Genesis 37, beginning at 1. Joseph's dreams. This, I'm reading from the New Living Translation. It says, so Joseph, so Jacob settled again, old Jacob, in the land of Canaan. That's our promised land, where his father had lived as a foreigner. This is the account of Jacob and his family. When Joseph was 17 years old, he often tended his father's flocks. He worked for his half-brothers, the sons of his father's wives, Bilhah and Zilpah. But Joseph reported to his father some of the bad things his brothers were doing. Jacob loved Joseph more than any of his other children because Joseph had been born to him in his old age. So one day Jacob had a special gift made for Joseph, a beautiful robe. But his brothers hated Joseph because his father loved him more than the rest of them. They couldn't say a kind word to him. And here's five. One night Joseph had a dream. And when he told his brothers about it, they hated him more than ever. Listen to this dream, he said. We were out in the field tying up bundles of grain. Suddenly, my bundle stood up and your bundles all gathered around and bowed low before mine. So now I'm going to go all the way down to 18. I'm gonna, this is the point I'm going to make today and we'll talk more about this as the week goes on. In 18, when Joseph's brothers saw him coming, they recognized him in the distance. And as he approached, they made plans to kill him. Here comes the dreamer. They said, come on, let's kill him and throw him into one of the cisterns. We can tell our father a wild animal has eaten him. Then we'll see what becomes of his dreams. Let me read that one more time. 18. When Joseph's brother saw him coming, they re your enemies, the enemy recognizes you even in the distance. Remember that. When Joseph's brother saw him coming, they recognized him in the distance. And as he approached, they made plans to kill him. Here comes the dreamer, they said. Come on, let's kill him and throw him into one of the cisterns. We can tell our father a wild animal has eaten him. Then we'll see what becomes of his dreams. So my point today is, the enemy doesn't want you to dream. And if you have the nerve to dream, he's going to do everything that he can to destroy your dreams. 
It says we'll kill him, then we'll see what becomes of his dreams. But one thing I want to make a declaration to today is this. You can't kill my dreams. You can. The enemy cannot kill my dreams. Can he kill yours? Can he destroy yours because things haven't turned around as quick as you would like for them to? What are you going to do with the setbacks? Here we got Joseph. He was 17 years old when God gave him this dream. 17 years old. So here it is, Shannon with his brothers who just so happen to be his biggest haters. It's a shame when your own brothers and sisters hate you the most. But that's reality for a lot of families. And so here we are. His brothers can't stand him. Can't say even one nice word to him. So Joseph, all excited about his dream, he comes and shares his dream with his brothers. And all along, they can't stand him. And on top of that, his daddy Jacob had the nerve to make him a pretty beautiful robe. And the other brothers don't have a robe. They were just, that was just over the top. They were just too upset. And so even then, they began to make plots. They couldn't stand them. So later on, they go out. Jacob sends the other brothers out to handle some business. Y'all can read chapter 37 for all the details. And then while they're out, Jacob says, Joseph, go check on them. Go check on them. So Joseph goes to make way and checks on them. He stops in one place. They're not there. He gets instructions on where they are. So he goes to where they are. And as he's coming to where they actually are, they see him off in the distance. He goes, mm, there goes that dream again. We, we got something for him. We're going to do something for him since he's always dreaming. You know, a lot of people, they're not bold enough to dream. Then they want to hate on you because you have dreams. Don't hate on me because I dream. That's when you tell people, if you don't want to dream, that's you. But don't hate on my dreams. Let me tell you this. When I posted my vision board the other day, do you know people had the audacity to ask me questions about my vision board? And I don't mean questions like in a learning type of way. I mean people saying things like, why you got mega churches on there? Yo, this is my vision board. Okay, if you don't want to go to mega churches and speak, that might not be your dream, but don't knock my dream. Then you got people, you know, saying, well, who are you going to be this to and where are you going all that? Like, it's like people purposely trying to antagonize your dreams. But most of the time when people do that, it's because they're too afraid to dream for themselves or because things have not turned around for them as quick as they like them to. They want to hate on you and they want to stop your dreams. But today, nothing is going to kill our dreams and nothing is going to stop our dreams. And the setbacks, Joseph, he was left for dead. He was thrown into the pit. He was sold into slavery. He was a he was of rape. He was thrown into prison, yet he still rose to the top because he had a dream and he didn't allow those setbacks to stop him. So today, what are you allowing to stop you from your dreams? There are no limits on your vision board. People are like, well, how do I do the vision board? Uh, close your eyes and imagine there were no limits in life. If there were no limits in life and nothing was impossible, where would you want to see yourself a year from now? What would you want to see God's hand do for you? And that's what you began to put on your vision board. And then most importantly, you ask God, God, what is your dream for my life? Lord, I know I have dreams. I know I have visions. I know I have hopes. But what is your dream for my life? Why did you place me in my mother's womb? Why did you do it? What did you put me here to do other than serve you and spend attorney with you? What else? What, what am I supposed to do while I'm here? So that your dreams and your visions can align with his. Remember, let our thoughts and our intents and everything become agreeable to his will as we commit our ways to the Lord. So this morning, y'all, we're not going to let anybody kill our dreams. So I'm charging you to do that vision board. I'm charging you to take a snap, a picture of that vision board. Go to Walgreens or CVS, whatever, Walmart, print it out. Send it to me. Let the team pray over. We, we're in agreement with you. We're for you. Let us pray over your visions. And I'll hang them in here. I'll find space in this closet. And I'll post your dreams up right along with mine. Because one thing about it, I want to be able to have known that I made a difference in somebody's life. And it's not just for me to dream for all my dreams to come true when you guys just celebrate with me. I want to see your dreams come true. I want to see your visions come true. And so again, with Joseph, let's go back to Joseph in here. Yes, he had issues. Yes, he had setbacks. But he didn't allow those setbacks to stop him from the victory. And, and as I was writing this morning i was studying this morning you know when my mom died in 2013 I already had a dream. I already had a vision. But I never envisioned burying my mama on a Sunday and giving birth to my dreams, my twins, on a Wednesday. The same week. The same week. Sunday to Wednesday. My heart was aching and rejoicing at the same time. I'm telling you, that's a weird feeling if you never experienced it before. But I was like, but God, I don't understand this. And I have a dream. I, I just know I'm supposed to do something with my life even beyond this. But without my mama, how am I going to be able to do that? And so over time, I picked up the piece of my life and I continued with my dream. I continued to try to motivate and encourage y'all. I continued to do it. And then my daddy died. It's like, wait, whoa now. So here I am dreaming again, dreaming again, get a little momentum. And then all of a sudden, my daddy died. 
guys. And he didn't just die. He just dropped. And he dropped seven days after his 68th birthday. And one week after we threw him his very first surprise birthday party. It's like, God, how could this have been a part of the plan? How could this have been a part of what you showed me? Because, see, God will show you the end. He will show you the victory. He will show you the dream manifested. But he does not show you the process. You know why he doesn't show you the process? Because we, if, if, if the Lord had said, Kelly, I called you to do a great work for me, which I knew he had done. But you're going to lose your mama. You're going to lose your daddy. Your mentors, they both are going to die. Your godmother's going to die. And you're going to lose two of your best friends in the process. If God had told me that, I would say, you know what, God? I'm good. I'm cool. You know, I'm, I got a good job. You know, I'm great. I got wonderful kids. I'm just going to leave it like this. But God didn't show me that because he knew if he had showed me that, I would have probably given up. And that's the same thing for you. If he doesn't show you, he shows you the end, but he's not going to show you the process. But just know that even in your process, there is something to learn. That's the time we're supposed to be developed. Our setbacks, our hardships are not to destroy us. It's to make us strong so that we're mature enough to handle the blessing. I always pray, God, don't take me anywhere. Don't allow my gift to take me to a place where my character is not mature enough to handle it. I don't want to get to a platform where my gift is made room for me, but I don't have the integrity to handle the gift. I don't have the, the integrity to handle the weight of the anointing. No, take me up slow so that I can mature along the way and that's what the process is all about. But be a dream chaser like Joseph. Chase after your dream. Don't let anything stop you, but don't think because things are hard right now because you can't see the victory that there is no victory because there is a victory so i hope that encourages you this morning that you know yeah it might not be it might not have turned around for you yet but look at what happened to joseph if you think your story is bad why don't you go back and read about joseph god gives him a dream an amazing dream that came to pass but in the process he was left for dead sold into slavery accused of rape thrown into prison, forgotten about in prison. But I tell you what, man may forget about you, but God will never forget about you. And he'll send somebody back for you just in the nick of time. And so go back and read that story. We may hang around this story for a couple days to talk more about it. But today, the whole point is that I am a dream chaser and nobody's going to kill my dreams. I dare you to do a vision board this year. I dare you to just spend the next couple days as we're fasting and praying and just think about where you want your life to go. I don't care where you are right now. I I don't care about that. What I care about is where you want to go and where you believe in God will take you. And the warrior, you're not alone. The warrior family is right here with you. And we're going to stand in agreement with you over these visions and over these dreams. So whatever it is that you're afraid to do, that thing, that biggest fear in your heart, that's what you need to be typing in and say, you know what? I'm going to conquer this. I'm not going to allow any earthly limitations to limit me because my God is the God of impossibilities. So Father, I just thank you this morning. I just thank you, oh God. Lord, we just honor you. Please remember to share this video. Let's just briefly pray around this this morning. We'll talk more about it as the week goes on but father we just honor you oh god because lord i don't care what the enemy tries to do god he will not destroy our dreams god so we thank you for this morning oh god and we we hide every dream and vision oh god under you and your secret place oh god lord where it is safe to flourish and manifest oh god we cover our dreams in your blood the blood of jesus christ this morning oh god and we thank you that when the enemy comes around and he's roaming and seeking who he can sift this week oh god we thank you that our dreams will be covered in the precious blood of jesus christ and even now angels go out on assignment and make sure that every dream in our life that is of God will come to pass. Go out and make sure that you touch the hearts of those who are in a position to promote us to our blessed place. Oh God, go out and touch those angels who are in a position to lift us up. Those who are in a position to provide for us. Those who are in a position to open the doors for us. Touch those people this morning. Stir them. If they're still asleep, awaken them and put our faces on their minds. That is our prayer this morning. Lord, we just honor you that we can be safe with you. That our dreams are safe with you. That our visions are safe with you. And God, what is is your dream for our lives, God. As we go on this fast, God, as we fast today, Lord God, as we come before you, oh God, show us, God, the way to life. Show us the dream. Show us what you intended from the beginning. Show us the hope of our calling. Show us why we are here, why we have bread, why, why you didn't take us when you should have, God. Show us why you created us in our mother's womb, God. Show us that reason, that thing, God, that many of us may not even know about yet. God, help us reveal it to us, oh God, as we continuously come before you morning after morning after morning after morning. God, stir the gifts inside of us, oh God. Stir up the dreams inside of us, oh God. Let us be like Joseph. No matter what, come hell or high water, oh God. Let us continue on the path that leads to the manifestation of your promises in our lives, oh God. I don't care who hates on us, who plans to destroy us, oh God. Lord, we thank you, God, that the greater one lives on the inside of us, God. And we thank you, God, that you say, even we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we don't have to fear evil because you are with us, God. Your rod, your staff, it comforts us, oh God. And so we thank you this morning, God, that we are hidden in your secret place, oh God, that we are undetectable under the radar of 
the enemy. Yes, he may see us from a distance, oh God, but you already said a thousand may fall at our side and ten thousand at our right hand, but no evil shall come near our dwelling. God, we thank you for that word this morning. We thank you for your word this morning, God. We thank you for the story of Joseph, oh God, that you left it for an example for your people, God. We thank you for the example this morning, oh God, and we just honor you for it, oh God. Thank you for every dream that shall come to pass in 2017. Thank you for every promise that shall manifest in 2017, God. I charge the people, God. I charge your sons and your daughters to dream, to dream big, to be a dream chaser, to chase after their dreams, and most importantly, God, we are chasing after you, oh God. Put a fire under our feet, God, that this year we will run for you like no before, God. We will no longer be lazy and slumber on our dreams, God. No, we'll get up, God, as you speak to us by the power of your spirit. You will show us what to do, God, that we shall write the vision down and make it plain, God. We thank you for that this morning, God. You're stirring us up even now. You're stirring up your sons and daughters even now, God. They're having an experience with you even now while I am praying, God. They may hear me talking, God, but let them hear your spirit speaking. That is my prayer this morning, oh God, and we just honor you, oh God, for our dreams that shall surely come to pass, delayed but not denied, setbacks but not destroyed, God. We just honor you for this morning, God, and we just acknowledge you are a good, 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 perfect Father. We thank you for your goodness this morning, God. We thank you for your faithfulness, God. We thank you for your provision. We thank you, God, you will never leave or forsake us. That is your word, God, that we are not forgotten, oh God, just that you didn't forget Joseph, even in the pit of prison, God. You didn't forget him, God, and we thank you, God, that you will not forget the prayer warriors. You will not forget your sons and your daughters, oh God, we thank you for this morning, God. We will chase our dreams, oh God. Just call us dream chasers because we're not going to give up, oh God, until we hold those dreams in our hands, God. So we just honor you this morning, oh God. And oh God, we just lift up Avery to you this morning, God, and we thank you for her healing, God, some kind of way, Lord. We ask you to turn it around, God. You are the master neurologist, oh God, and we're calling on you this morning, God. Turn it around for Avery. Turn it around for Jeremiah, God. You're the master gastroenterologist, oh God. Turn it around, Father God. Turn it around for him, oh God. We don't know where Monica is, but you do, God, and we just believe in you for a miracle, God. A miracle, God. We link our faith together, and we believe in you for a miracle, God. We honor you because you said in your word that miracle signs and wonders will follow the believers, oh God. We just honor you this morning, oh God. Now, God, I ask you to bless the prayer warriors, oh God. Every son and daughter under the sound of my voice, oh God, enlarge their territories, God. Charge them to dream again, God. Give them visions even in their sleep, oh God. Show them the purpose and plan that you have for their lives, oh God. Oh God, go before them, make every rugged path smooth, every crooked place straight, and bring every high place low, God. Rest your hand upon them, God, and push them forward into those dreams, into the next steps, God. We thank you for next steps, next steps, direction, clarity, intentionality. We thank you for this morning, oh God and Lord. Before we close out this prayer, God, it is an honor and a privilege to come before your throne. We thank you for the work of Jesus Christ on the cross that gives us access to you, oh God. And Lord, we just armor up this morning, oh God, with the belt of truth around our waist, our waist God, the helmet of salvation, oh God, the breastplate of righteousness, oh God. Lord, we wear sandals of peace, oh God. We carry the shield of faith and the sword of the spirit, which is your word, God, infallible, inerrant, the truth, oh God, it never changes, it never wavers, oh God. We thank you for this morning, oh God. We honor you for this day. We honor you for this year. We honor you for this fast. We honor you for our dreams and our visions, oh God, and just for the just for the motivation, oh God, to push, oh God, to keep pushing. We thank you for it, oh God, just stirring us up even now that we are dream chasers, oh God, and no devil in hell is going to destroy our dreams, God. We make that declaration today as the prayer warrior family, God, that no devil in hell will sabotage the purposes and plans that you have for our lives, God. We honor you for this time of prayer. We honor you for our dreams, and we just believe, God, that we will see your hand, your hand in the land of the living. We honor you for this time of prayer, oh God, and we seal this petition in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah and amen. I love you guys. Man, I love you. Share this video. Me back here in the morning. Read over Genesis 37. We're probably going to revisit it tomorrow. I love you guys. I love you, Denise. Bless you. I love you, Kathy. I love you, Elise. I love all of you guys. See you tomorrow. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah.